So hello there everybody and welcome to our next webinar which is the next chapter of Essentials. Um, chapter 3 we're on at this point and it's on plugging in. Uh, plugging in is a huge concept. Um, it varies from the very obviously not functioning well to the incredibly subtle. Sometimes what happens when I teach really elite riders actually is that I change an element of how they plug in and it's one of the number one things that will almost inevitably be part of a first lesson with somebody I'm meeting for the first time and it's really about the concept of sitting still and the stiller you are on the horse the more sense you make to him I like to use a, a term borrowing a term from physics and engineering where they talk about the noise to signal ratio so that's, you know, the idea you could think of just from a telephone call, how clear i.e. the person's voice, or how much is it clouded by noise, which would be crackling and static and breaking up and all sorts of things at that point. So when the noise to signal ratio is a lot of noise to not much signal, you as the person on the end of that telephone call have a hard job hearing, and you as the caller have a hard job making yourself heard. And if the noise to signal ratio is not a lot of noise and a really clear signal then you're not distracted and your message gets through really clearly and anything that is not just like molding onto the horse's back anything extraneous over and above that molding on is noise and it's almost as if the horse would have to be psychic to know what movement that you make is supposed to be a signal and what movement that you make is irrelevant noise how's he supposed to tell the difference between a meaningful movement and a not meaningful movement when there's a lot of movement and that's where we have the concept of plugging in and what we might talk about is the rider being still relative to the horse she's a mold onto the horse she's molded onto his back and how it moves and she adds nothing extra so that's one of the elements of plugging in and getting clearer less noise a clearer signal makes a huge huge difference it can also make a massive difference to the whizzy horse who's speeding away from you so the moment you've got a horse that you know is speeding off with you what that really means is that the horse is in control of the speed of his legs rather than you are in control of the speed of his legs. And when that's happening, you can bet that there's too much movement going on. So we have this concept that relates to this rather. We talk about who takes who, who's taking who. Is the rider taking the horse or is the horse taking the rider? And this draws analogy to riding a bicycle. And when you're riding a bicycle, you push the pedals around, which is kind of you take the bike, you determine how fast the wheels go around. But there's a point when you get to a steep downhill that you can't pedal fast enough to keep up, and then the bike takes you. Another analogy would be if any of you have used an electric sewing machine. If you use an electric sewing machine and you put your, thing, your, put your foot on the pedal faster than you meant to, and the material zips through there faster than you meant it to, then you could say the sewing machine takes you as opposed to your deliberately at which the needle goes up and down and the speed at which um, you know stitches are being made so when you take the horse you control the speed at which his legs go around when the horse takes you he's like the runaway bicycle he's controlling the speed at which his legs go around and we could say that whoever is in charge of the speed at which the rider moves her seat bones is in control of the speed at which the horse moves his legs so it could be that you control the speed of your seat bones so you're in control of the speed of his legs or that he's in control of the speed of your seat bones and therefore in control of the speed of his legs so another way too that you could think about this noise to signal ratio would be let's suppose one of your supposed friends comes to visit you and sits down at your kitchen table and you pour her a mug of coffee and she starts to go <laughs> and talk solidly for the next hour or two at which point she leaves thinking you had a great conversation 
and you're there feeling exhausted, probably thinking, spare me. That would be the kind of one-way conversation that you could think of happening when the rider has an awful lot of seat bone movements. And as far as the horse is concerned, she's going, <laughs> and she never gets quiet and still long enough for the horse to say anything back, or if the horse does say anything back, to hear the reply.